to my YouTube channel. I <laughs> hope you are all doing well. Today's video is quite a fun video actually. It's one that I always like used to watch before I started bodybuilding because I was just so interested. Today's video is actually a pack with me for show day which is very exciting so I'm going to be packing up my bag to take away for the weekend, kind of everything that I need. We are heading up to where my show is on Saturday, Saturday morning, coming back Sunday night and my show is on a Sunday. The reason why we have to go up on Saturday is because Saturday night I have my first coat of tan and it's just good to kind of be somewhere stable and just relax really like the night before shows. We are currently a few days into peak week, um, as I'm filming this video it is actually Wednesday. Um, so it's a good time to start packing, I feel like I've got everything pretty much sorted and together that I need. I really need to put it all in a bag and I thought it would be quite fun to take you guys along with me and you know you can see how my brain is working or not working should I say at this point and just trying to make sure that I have everything together and then today as you would have seen this morning I made my breakfast so I will be taking you along on a full day of eating with me as well I have been getting so many questions about what I'm eating on prep so I do want to show a little bit more of that especially on peak week as well because it is the first time that what I'm eating is actually changing for I don't know like Pretty much all of my prep, I had been eating the same foods every single day um, on a training day or rest day. Like my meal plans pretty much stayed the same. So it hadn't really been that exciting to kind of show you what I was eating. We'd just been kind of like reducing carbs, reducing fats here and there to obviously increase my deficit as prep kind of went along. But now we're in peak week. We're doing a couple of loading phases, which I'm going to talk a little bit more on in a minute. Yeah, like my food is slightly different. So it's a bit more exciting to show. It's also interesting because... I had no idea what a fat load was, what a carb load was before I really like started delving into the world of bodybuilding um, and even up until this week I didn't really quite understand or compute the response or the effect that it would have on my body so I think it'd be quite interesting to take you along especially if you're thinking about competing yourself so you can kind of see what my protocols are but it's really important to mention that my protocols are specific to my body and how my prep has gone and how my peak is going and the shows that I'm doing and all these kind of things. Everyone's peak week protocols and strategies are slightly different. If you are doing a prep, I don't know, in the next year or very soon and you're kind of watching this video thinking oh, that's how my peak week is going to go, just take this with a pinch of salt because it might be very different. Your coach might um, slightly change their approach depending on what your body needs. Obviously this morning I made my breakfast and we are currently in a two day fat loading phase. So today is actually day two. Yesterday I did day one. So in a fat loading phase we are currently running zero grams of carbohydrates which just a disclaimer if you are someone watching this video who is not prepping who has not had instructions for this from a certified trainer or coach and please don't think that you need to be cutting carbohydrates from your diet please do not do that carbohydrates are so so important as are fats as well it's really important that you have a balanced plate a balanced daily nutritional intake the reason why we're cutting carbohydrates is so that my body has a really positive response and feels out nicely when we begin a carb load phase from tomorrow. What we're doing here is very much so fit for purpose and fit for my goal. So please, please don't cut out carbohydrates, ladies, you need your carbs. Yesterday and today we're running the fat loading phase. So currently I am intaking 110 grams of fats and 180 grams of protein. Usually on the day to day my intake of protein has been 140 so we've bumped that up. So my diet is consisting of fatty cuts of meat, fatty fishes, very very clean, very whole foods based and honestly today I feel fantastic for it. I really did think that I would struggle having no carbs because this girl loves her carbs, she loves her oats, she loves her bread, she loves her potatoes, everything. But actually I'm feeling very good and I'm feeling very satiated as well. Breakfast this morning, meal one, I had a hundred gram of smoked salmon which was just such a treat. 60 grams of avocado, 50 grams of halloumi, and then also 150 grams of mushrooms, of which I just cooked in some soy sauce and some salt, as you would have seen. It was like a really healthy, yummy, healthy fat, dense fry up, really. It was 
10 10. I also made my iced coffee. A lot of people in peak week get milk pulled completely from their diet, but the way my coach and I do it, the way that works really, really well for me is we do more of a like he gives me my macros and he approved my meal plan and I snuck in still I kept my all my milk in there and he was like yeah that's sweet and I was like get in I really struggle with a black coffee on peak week I am completely dry like cut out of all um sweeteners I mean I've been having zero sugar drinks fizzy drinks are gone any kind of syrup zero calorie syrups gone ketchups all that stuff gone just for um digestion purposes and to really make sure that everything is staying very tight especially in my midsection you know having a nice coffee without any sugar-free syrup is it's a challenge in terms of peak week protocols full stop sunday we ran normal rest day food i had 40 minutes of cardio no training monday i had normal training day food but from monday we started my devolume session so it's just leaving reps in reserve, a slightly lighter weight. I did my normal glutes, delts and arm session on Monday. 40 minutes of cardio, 10K steps. Yesterday we completely pulled cardio, so no more cardio, which has been unbelievable. My legs are actually dead. I just had 10K steps, my usual quads and chest session. Today is a full rest day. No cardio, no training, only 6K steps to hit. I've already done 4K. And then tomorrow we're just doing like a pumpy pull session, which I get to freestyle, which I'm so excited for. 6K steps again, 6K steps on Friday and a pumpy push session. And then on Saturday, we travel up to where my show is and it's 4K steps. As you can see, we're really tailoring off that expenditure and we're really hoping that my body starts to bring out a lot of detail in my physique and really starts to wash off the fatigue, which is the whole point of peak week. I am enjoying the rest i'm enjoying milking it as well on 4k steps aaron turns around to me and he goes we're booking the cinema tonight i'm going to take you to the cinema i'm not going to tell you what we're watching so i have no idea what we're watching but it's a way of making sure that i sit in one space for around two to three hours and don't move don't walk anywhere don't lift my feet and we also get the recliners as well so my feet are nice up and high which is Amazing. When I make my second meal, I will show you it pretty much when it's ready, but it's very basic. It's very boring, but it does taste good, in my prep opinion. <laughs> meal two, I have 175 grams of 10% lean minced beef and then i have 100 gram of iceberg lettuce and 15 gram of feta cheese which is crumbled up and mixed in there as well i just top with a little bit of soy sauce because i'm not allowed any other dressing or any other seasoning obviously soy sauce is just like basically no calorie that there is my lunch then i also have another five or just under 500 ml of water to drink so i'm currently drinking three to four liters per day tom wants me to drink around more, more like five, five and a half liters during my carb load, so from tomorrow. So I have another one of these and another half liter to drink as well. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna eat this because I'm so hungry. It's a good while later now, finally getting round to packing my show day bag. With everything laid out in front of me, so I'm feeling I'm feeling as organised as possible. My friend and posing coach Eden said that it's a good idea to pack my show day bag or everything that I need for show day like at this point, halfway through peak week, and unpack and repack literally the day before I go just to double make sure that I feel like I have everything. I'm definitely one of those unorganised people who panics they're gonna forget something or feels like they've left everything behind that they need so this is a good plan actually packing like my overnight stay bag and everything moisturizers body wash all that kind of stuff makeup chargers and whatnot i'm just gonna leave till literally like the day before we go so on friday or even maybe saturday morning because if i start packing stuff that i need and then unpacking it just gets really messy and it, it will definitely stress me out i'm going to take you through everything that i'm popping in and then I'll do like a little montage as I'm trying to fit it all into 
my little wheelie suitcase. Okay, first up I have a neck pillow. These are just one of the travel ones, just in case I have to lay down backstage, have my feet up or anything like that. Um, then I can at least have something to rest my head on or even just traveling up there in the car. Starting off with like cosmetics and things that I'm taking in my bag. As I said, I'm gonna be packing like all of my makeup and stuff pretty last minute. I'm gonna be taking my on a toiletry bag. This thing comes literally everywhere with me. I still actually think there's some in stock. So as always, my Honor Active link will be in the description of this video. One side I'm gonna use to pop in like all just hygiene bits. I have paracetamol because just in case I get a headache or anything like that. Some sugar-free strep seals. I know a lot of people, when they come off stage, have a really sore throat. It's like just the ad adrenaline crash. Some face wipes just to get that makeup straight off if I want to when I come off stage. Some tissues. My shiwi, which is going to help with the whole not ruining my tan when I need a wee 100 times a day situation. Just some wet wipes as well in case I need them for any touch-ups. also have here my lashes i've gone for two different types so i'm just really going to see what i'm feeling on the day but i do like a curly lash as opposed to a straight lash so both of these are pretty curly here i have a cosmetic mirror um this one actually lights up like so if i need to do any makeup touch-ups backstage so i'm going to bring my black headband as well just in case i want to keep my hair out of my face or when i'm doing my makeup and then i also have some of these little clips as well to clip my hair back if it's annoying me in my face which 90% of the time it does anyway then here i have my makeup box this is obviously very very bare right now it's just got a few bits that i got for a show day my shadow palette darker bronzer my duo lash glue, a darker foundation, darker concealer, etc. And then I'm just going to top this up with my regular makeup and anything else that I need slash manage to get for show day. This zip here as well, I just have some spare contact lenses in case my eyes get dry and I need to change them because that does happen. Some eye patches, eye masks to do with Aaron potentially the night before my show if my face is not covered in tan and I can't do it. If not, he can enjoy them and he can relax. Moving on to bikinis and show day accessories and all that stuff. You've seen in my last video, I have my show day jewelry. All of my show day jewelry is from Compact. These are my earrings. Then have a bikini repair kit in case anything, God forbid, happens to my bikini on the day. And then I have bikini stuffing. So this just goes in the pads of the bra because I have absolutely no tits whatsoever right now. And I have my bikini, which I'm gonna keep in this box to keep it nice nice and safe. Moving on to show day clothes. First of all, I have my actual show day outfit. So this is going to be my comfy baggy clothes to go on when I go and get my second layer of tan on show day. Um, I just have a black bikini top, the Skims oversized black tee that I showed you in my last video, and the Skims joggers also. Then I have spares as well. I just have these really, really big baggy joggers that I'm going to keep in my show day bag and potentially when I come off stage, I'll change into these if these are looking a little bit worse for wear. Just a black Skims vest top as well. I think it's actually meant to be quite warm on my show day. And here I have my robe, which I showed you in my last video. Black slides as well. I will probably be wearing these majority of the weekend. And then I also have my pump up bands, which I'm just going to take as they are. Not forgetting my heels as well for show day, by the way, but they are currently downstairs in my gym bag because I still have a few days where I need to do check ins, etc., with my coat, just my fan to keep me cool if I happen to get quite warm behind stage. I then have my digital camera. This was my first ever vlog camera, like way back when. It takes actually really good flash photos. I think it's the Sony. DSC WX500. If you were around when I was in Ibiza last year, some of our flash photos were taken using this, so it's quite good. I also have a disposable as well because I love these for memories. If I get a little bit bored backstage, I have um, a book. This is A Court of Thorn and Roses, which I have been saving for holiday, but I might just like give it a little go beforehand. I have my AirPods as well, which are going to be an absolute necessity. Finally, my iPad, which I'll have netflix shows and stuff downloaded on and anything that i want to watch to keep me busy and my mind focused on something backstage also going to be packing in here my tripod as well um so i have that with me if i need to do any check-ins backstage you send over to my coach or just for photos and videos etc and moving on to food bits this is obviously very minimal right now obviously any like 
meats or chicken or anything that I get might get on show day I can just keep in a little cool bag as well to go in my suitcase it's better apparently to pack extra and to be extra prepared with extra food with you just in case you know my coach turns around and says okay we need to add a little bit more carbs into you so I've got three packs of rice cakes two squares bars I have not had a squares bar oh my goodness like I would say like over six months. I also have just some wooden um, knives, forks and spoons. And I have a couple of plastic cups because I'm pretty sure I will be measuring out my water. And then here I have my food scales. Same with the knives and forks. I just have some paper plates in case I feel bougie and I want to make my rice cakes or my chicken or whatever I happen to get on show day on a nice little plate. I'm just going to add in here as well my little pot of squeezy peanut butter which is so so handy for weighing it out and then also some jam as well and I think that'll pretty much be the staples but we'll see I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> That's a pretty good effort. I pretty much have all of like my cosmetics, my bikini and everything on this side, all my jewelry. I think I'm gonna go through these pump up bands. I don't think I need every single one <laughs> because I also have to fit my heels in here somewhere as well. But again, this is why I'm doing it and then I can redo it and I can kind of make it work a little bit better. I've taken out my show day outfit other than my bikini, like the black outfit, the skims and the bikini and the posing suit and everything. Um, because I thought actually I don't really need this in here that can go in my overnight bag I'll be waking up on Sunday morning and just sticking that straight on um, so yeah just to go in here I have my portable charger which I need to dig out this is to Meg editing this vlog don't forget these bits my show heels um, spare underwear as well to take and put on after show any chargers like phone chargers camera chargers, anything like that, spare SD cards, all need to go in here as well. Oh, I also need to pack some electrolytes. Apparently I should have electrolytes as soon as I come off stage because I'm gonna be very dehydrated on the day. So electrolytes and plenty of water. Don't forget that mix. 5 p.m. I have just made and plated up meal three. I just get stressed when I cook steak. <laughs> I'm just so scared I'm gonna get it wrong. And it's just so expensive as well, like I literally, needed to concentrate these things are pretty the same as to what i had for breakfast which you would have seen anyway i have 200 gram of mushrooms 50 grams of halloumi again and then 40 grams of avocado i have some rocket then i have a rump steak yesterday i had a fillet steak but the shop didn't have fillet so i had rump today just played a little bit more around with my macros and made it fit perfectly with just a little bit of mustard on top i'm going to tuck into this and then i'm going to go and have my rest day bath i'm going to have a little epsom salt bath i'm going to exfoliate because tomorrow thursday is the big shave isn't it spud and then we're heading to the cinema sorry if you can hear the washing machine i'm on a mission to try and get as much wash this week as possible currently just gone six Aaron and i are about to head off to the cinema which is going to be so nice i actually have no idea what we're watching hopefully it's not something too action-packed something maybe a little bit light-hearted honestly i don't know just about to make my ninja creamy and i thought i would just talk through exactly what i have I this every single day and it works perfectly even on my fat loading because it's actually got no carbs in it i use 200 gram of the alpro no sugars yogurt this is just fats and protein which works perfectly and it is a plain yogurt and what i do is i have 200 gram into my ninja creamy pot in the morning and then if you'd have watched my previous videos you know i'm absolutely obsessed with the esn flavor powder especially this flavor in peanut caramel bar just add a scoop into here mix it up freeze it pretty much all day into the ninja creamy and then it's quite 
a big voluminous sweet treat ice cream. This is my only sweet thing today. All of my meals have been very savoury as you would have seen and usually I have like four sweet meals, three to four sweet meals in my like usual daily eating. I thought I'd find it more challenging but I think with like a higher fat diet or like a higher fat day of eating you end up craving like more salty things anyway but I am really looking forward to this today. When I mix this up then I think I'm going to eat it whilst we're on the way to the cinema, it's about like a 20 minute drive, eat that and then I'm also taking my salad with me which is my final meal of the day and I have one more 1.5 litre bottle of water to chug and drink the rest of the day and I've hit my water, I hit my steps, finish all my food and yeah, in tomorrow for the first day of a carb load. I always use the light ice cream set in, it is the best, it is extremely loud so I'm going to turn the camera off before I press it but one of these that I usually like take it off, see what it's looking like, and then I usually have to do one respin. There we go. There's the ice cream. Max volume. Tastes very, very good. Hits the spot. Everything that I need, so I'm going to eat that on the way. Are you driving? Yeah. Oh, absolute diamond. And then I'm also taking my final meal, which I'm going to eat in the cinema, so I think I'll show you it now. It's just finished. Oh my god, it looks so sad, but it's actually really good. 200 gram of chicken thigh cooked in soy sauce and salt. <laughs> With 200 gram of lettuce and 10 gram of feta cheese. I put it at the bottom of this bag. I always take a blanket to the cinema. Yeah, we're ready and head off to the cinema. I wonder what we're watching. Oh. It's going to be a scary film because you can't hack scary films, can you, Spud? We are home, we are back from the cinema. It is currently 5 to 10. To be honest, it's way past my bedtime. Genuinely come like 8.30 at the moment. I'm ready for bed. If you want to watch TV with me in the evening, it's genuinely not going to happen. Well, it will, but I will just fall asleep on the sofa. So I did good. We went and saw the film Civil War, I think it was called. It was good. It it was good but it was also like a slow burner and then like really shocking so yeah i just feel like it's one of those films that has like a deeper meaning and like deeper narrative but anyway it was nice to get out and it was nice to chill and just spend some time with aaron got home spotted eating some glasses that he found out of the kitchen bowl fab he hadn't actually eaten them he just chewed them but hey ho i'm now in bed i'm ready for a good night's sleep genuinely i had eight hours last night and i felt absolutely 10 out of 10 for it so it's my mission to try and get it again that was my full day of eating and that was also my pack with me i got my little suitcase over there already i'm gonna go through it another hundred times knowing me but what's new i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and joining me on peak week um and I will try and film one more video before show weekend. Eventually a day in my carb load as well, which starts tomorrow. Honestly, of waking up and having a 70 gram bowl of oats, it's enough to send me to send me to sleep right now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it interesting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.